Yo, yo, it's Hippie Chick, and this is my first Summer Progress Garden video. As you can see, I'm framed in on my green onions, which we started from green onions. Hold on, a plane is going to fly by. Aren't they lovely? Some of these green onions I have recycled three, four, and five times already. It's really hot over here, so I grew really hot plants, tomatoes. And look, I have a blushing tomato right in there. And if we look down, you can see it's a whole bunch of tomatoes. There's stuff in between. So in here, we got some eggplant. They're just about to flower. I planted them a little late. So here's more tomatoes. In between here, we got some serrano chilies. And every once in a while, you'll see a garlic. There's some more tomatoes. These are called black crims. I think they're from Russia. Look at the bad boy in there that's turning pink right now. Oh my. Then over here we got some regular onions that I planted in the fall. A couple of them look like they're nearly ready. Got some more chilies. Here I got nasturtium because they were already here. And they act as a bait for the moths. And they don't eat my tomatoes as much because they prefer the nasturtium. Hidden in there. And I got some basil. More tomatoes. These are tigerellas. They are tiger striped. These tomatoes, I got them at the store. They were yellow on the outside and red on the inside. And I've gotten a lot of flowers, but very little fruit. So I don't know if they needed to be pollinated or what. Uh, some more chili peppers in here. Some more serranos in here. Now, back in here, I got some eggplants that I just planted. They really like hot weather. So they're about the only things with tomatoes that'll grow in August and September, besides cannabis. More tomatoes. Getting to the shady part of the yard right now. Some more baby eggplants. More nasturtium. And then over here, I've kind of got a mishmash. It started as an Asian garden, growing lemongrass and daikon and shungiku and shiso, and it didn't work out that way. So I got some pretty daikons though, and some parsley, and some red carrots. I've never successfully grown carrots before, so we'll see how this goes. A lot more serrano chilies. I really like serranos. Now this is shungiku. And these are actually mums. And they will flower, but you put these in your ramen or your pho. They are the greens that are in your ramen. Over here I got some cilantro. Over there I got a couple of zucchinis. I had them in my raised bed, but it was getting very, very crowded in there. I'm going to take a little walk down here, and as you can see, I got some cucumbers in a tomato cage or two, and another cucumber in a tomato cage, and then more daikon down in there. Now we get to my favorite part, the squash garden. I'm going to back up a little. So this is a raised bed. The cat was using it as a litter box. I convinced her to go elsewhere, and she agreed. So, uh, I've got a lot of nasturtium. It was left over, and it's really a good uh, bait plant. And you can eat the flowers besides. They're delicious. All right, so here we got a spaghetti squash. Let me lift up this leaf. 
it's not quite right, but look how giant this thing is. That's my giant hand. I have a giant hand. Giant hand and giant feet, and that is the melon. Uh, squash, I mean. Then we got some yellow zucchinis in here. And some lettuce, which is starting to bolt, so I can't grow lettuce after July here. And then we've got this thing called lemon drop melon. That's these little things. They're so prolific that I'm growing them off the sides of my raised bed. Same with this spaghetti squash. It's absolutely growing like crazy. Pretty soon I'm going to train it to grow up that wrought iron fence. My old bird bath I put back in operation and the cat drinks out of it more than the birds do. And then I now have a little workshop area which I set up for myself. That's pretty neat. It's mostly in the shade until the late afternoon. And I get a lot of work done. I have a place for all my things and it's awesome. I just love it. And over here, in some more shade, we have the herb garden. And currently, I've got some chives in that empty looking pot. I put in some other seeds, but herbs take a long time to germinate. So I think I've got uh, thyme or something like that in there. I can't remember quite right now. And the center is parsley. It was parsley and cilantro, but the cilantro bolted. Uh, so uh, it's just parsley now. And then there's my sweet basil. And it is sweet. And then uh, the rest is just my, you know, regular old cactus garden. And then I just put my cannabis plants in. <clears throat> I'm a little ashamed because they're in shock. But I will show them to you. There's the long shot, if you can see, and yeah, not really, but as you can see, they're kind of in shock. I just put them in on July 2nd, I was a month late, hopefully not a dollar short. I guess that means I'll harvest sometime in October instead of September. I hope I don't screw this up with the sun and all that stuff. Alright, hippie chicks out. I hope you like this video of my garden.